station and dress uniform. Your number one responsibility out there is to stay alive and protect the lives of your partner at America. Right. Thank you, Chuck. Good morning, gentlemen. I'd like to introduce to you... Oh, okay. Yeah. Chuck! This is Chuck Gilmore. He's from in, kid. <laughs> These guys are all working overtime just to keep up. Huh. I don't know what to say except... Um, this... Well, oh, ma'am, it's times like these. And this kind of police policy says a lot about these evidence. The coroner's report said that my son died at the hands of another. Surely this, I can't keep doing this every morning. Yeah? Yeah. But you will. Mine. Yes, sir. Fit in. Edgemar Sheriff Station, please hold. Sir? 12 Adam 131, possible 211 burglary at warehouse at 5200 Wood Avenue. Kid. Are you covering the back, mister? Yeah, they're gonna name this station after me. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you better lay off the steak and don't. I need to leave the wife and kids something. Get busted by that. Any, any unit, man down, possible homicide at 2401 West. Greenspan there said all he had was credit cards. The man standing near his window fired. findings of the Internal Affairs Commission regarding charges against this station. So I'm happy. Now remember, he's one of us. I don't know if I belong in the department. He should quit. Uh, Cause I work like you. Work you. Like me. Yeah. Sell drugs? If you do. Your arrest? Traffic violation? Spread your oh, head, wow. ma'am. Spread your head, man. Well, if I find anything sharp and I get cut, okay. they don't hate me for push. comfort, Teddy. I go get the gun. Nine millimeter. Are you crazy? What were you doing, September seventh? Drag it all out for trial. What we'll do is get you only. And section 211, attempted robbery. Your Honor, good morning. I'm Jane. You must think I'm not playing with a full deck. This is a potential. Bob's not going anywhere. What do I do with my keys? I know I left them. They're in your hand. I'm just thinking about the choices a man. Where my mama at, man? Why should it bail me out? I was talking to the prosecution, trying to see if they'd be interested in doing a deal. Are you protecting anyone? Do I look well, I'm sure Baker's called me. Uh, yeah. It's a traffic violation. Yeah. Prosecution says I had no legal right to stop Teddy. Yeah, it was just luck. Yeah? Yeah. That's great, man. On the evening of September 7th, why did you stop Teddy Woods? This isn't looking good. Hmm. You were closer to the scene. I was in the process of taking his license plate and calling it in when Deputy Bono pulled in behind him. Shooter stuck a gun to your head. And when your wife refused... I, I had 
no damage to my ear. Please. Why are you trying to look open? Mr. Johnson, I understand that you will be off probation. So get everything together. Uh, I, I lied about his arrest. We had no reason to pick him up. Saying, if you know anything, just keep your mouth shut. No more questions. Jane. Yeah. That was your sister. She wants you to call her back. Oh. Over. Oh, come here. Well, you know, she probably wants to know if we've decided. Tal dieciocho de semana. Dispense. When you get a moment. Hello. Is involved in all this. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Uh huh. Mr. Taylor, this then obviously is not your gun. I checked every hit and run case from five years before Marshall's death. Nothing. I caught him back there acting pretty suspicious. Sure. You let me know. Mr. Greenspan. Was murdered. No, I didn't. John Doe, white male, age 50. How is it possible that the gun that the department had in its possession was used to murder... Because Watch Commander Massey is always on my case. I check every arrest report. Hello. Which line is it? Line one. You don't want to be an outsider. Putting in a little overtime. The only thing she remembered about the original suspect was his license plate. Chuck was the officer. I want you all to report to me individually for your work assignments. Now let's hit some over. Told to hold this position, period. What channel are you guys on? Three. Over on three. Now get back to that house. It's not secure. Go! Stupid mistake. Yeah, well, I'm not going back in there until the lights come on and the chief comes out that back door. Four. Did you check your walkie-talkies? The walkie-talkies were given to us on that channel. By Baker? No, sir. To me, as though you made a mistake, almost paid for it, and now you're looking for a conspiracy. No, sir. Here, transfer. Stop trying to be a missionary and save the natives. Right to work here, but you don't fit in. Fit into what? I run. This department will change, Mr. Massey. Really? Would you care to? Because the sheriff's in-house investigation cleared themselves of any wrong. I understand you have a request, Mr. Kern. How long have you... Born you to study for the bar. In the meantime, I joined the sheriff's department. I moved to strike that response. Deputy Foster was a, a witness. I was encouraged by the department to back up statements made by Baker. The one I turn in is always free of errors because Chief Massey's... This book under his chief, and you received numerous citations and awards. Is that not so? Yeah. So, what you get? But now and again, you'll see a rare minority as a guest. But you are. Oh, Steve, I didn't think you'd 
notice, big boy. Would you like to meet me in an alley? You know, when I was a kid, this was the only thing I ever dreamed about. <laughs> what? No, no, I mean, the ele- Hello. Hey, Foster, what's up? Gold, man. You got that right. I'll put a bullet. Put him in a cell. Come on. Come on. Don't. Don't. King trying to be some kind of a boy scout. We can't keep John's police commission. Livingston here. You said he had been stopped because. You were so bright-eyed not long ago. Your eyes are like looking. Long enough to fight, and just in case that's what he's <laughs> this tribal man.